Hi everyone, I'm Rachel Amo, and I'm going to be talking about um, Satellite Rebounded. Uh, essentially what I want to do is uh, help NASA tackle the, um, the challenge of getting more people interested in space, and we're going to do that uh, through an amusement park uh, idea. Uh, so it's a combination of um, the global uh, challenge that we had uh, from and last year's uh, challenge of sensor data, uh, as well as a trip to Mars. So it's three in one, uh, and I'm by myself. So what I'm presenting today is more of a conceptual idea, and then you know it can be taken forward. Uh, essentially, what I would like to propose um, is uh, a live show slash a virtual reality show where. Um, you, the audience, uh, follow fictional cosmonaut characters uh, in an immersive uh, experience. Uh, and what you'll be doing is you will help um, the cosmonaut characters uh, navigate uh, the hazards of a geomagnetic storm. Uh, and what you'll be doing is essentially uh, help repair, recover, and replace a mission-critical dislocated GPS satellite in orbit while you're traveling to Mars. I know, it's really complicated, but this is important because this is something that astronauts uh, have to do uh, periodically when something does go wrong. Uh, so you're going to be experiencing the adrenaline rush of thrills and screams as you and the cosmonauts assemble uh, a virtual telescope that will help you see where this, this, this location has occurred. Uh, and then uh, using uh, sensor data from our NASA Sphere program, uh, you will uh, navigate around the solar debris that is going to occur uh, and replace the GPS satellite um, to show new coverage areas to, to explain to people that you have a restorational service. Um, so how would we do that and why would we do that? Again, uh, you would be doing this because uh, we want to foster a greater public outreach uh, and market penetration. Uh, and talk about issues regarding space and Mars. We want people to have a realistic idea of what it is like to be uh, in the, the flight zone. You will be essentially experiencing this from the perspective of uh, the launch pad. So once you have that launch pad experience, which is much different from uh, watching it on TV, uh, it will give you an idea of whether or not you are Mars ready uh, <laughs> to, to see what um, can be done. Uh, so on the software side of it, uh, the virtual aspect of it, uh, what, we Im what I'm imagining um, is using oil from Afro to do the 3D uh, graphics, um, the, the uh, rendering of some of the images that are going to um, be showing up, for example, the, mass, the Mars images, um, the topography, things of that nature, uh, using the Unity game engine to be able to create the uh, the habitats in the rooms and things of that nature. Uh, Minecraft, uh, Google Cardboard for, for when we decide to uh, do uh, sort of the having an immersive so you're in but you're not in kind of an experience. Uh, and Stellarium which is going to give us the, um, the sky view and, and the constellations and things of that sort. Uh, so I did put in a business model concept because it could potentially be monetized. So if uh, NASA and Disney decide to, for example, partner along, uh, <laughs> this is something that can be done. Um, with essentially, visitors would pay for the show at um, Disney uh, Epcot Amusement Park. They already have a system in place that sort of sends people on a space adventure anyway. So this would just be an extension and a great way for people to learn uh, without necessarily taking off. Thank you. Thank you so much. Do you guys have any questions? Yes. Thank you. I think this is great. Um, so, in terms of executing this, one of the things I was thinking about, what about like on a local level? I was just thinking it'd be great that if uh, there was an interactive component to the National History Museum's planetarium. I don't, right. I don't even know if, if that's something that's that's possible, but yes. like when you when you look at uh, other space <coughs> venues, they, they tend to be catered to children. But it, yes. I think this is something that'd be great for adults. And yes, this is the general the, this is a general audience production that I have in mind, and um, one of the venues that that I would consider uh, not just the Disney people uh, is a planetarium a dome like experience where the same sort of. Uh, event can be uh, launched for, it doesn't have to be the planetarium, it can be the library if they want to do something like that. Uh, essentially it's a public outreach uh, creative um, endeavor to get people talking, uh, you know, 
imagining what it would be like um, for people who can't even go to um, you know an expensive class or anything of that sort that exposes them. This is this makes it much more open and accessible. Thank you so much. I always want to encourage people who uh, you know aren't necessarily technical but do want to be a part of this to please do. We uh, welcome you with open arms. So thank you very much for coming.